active threats in the workplace is such an important topic these days because it's estimated that over 2 million people a year are effective, affected by a workplace violence incident. So this is not something that just happens randomly uh, a few times a year. This is something that happens on a regular basis. Some of the details are uh, we're going to provide you with preparedness activities along with prevention techniques. Uh, during this seminar, we will talk about what are indicators of threat activity, such as uh, things that may indicate why a person is about to do something. Uh, we're also gonna talk about de-escalation techniques. Um, what are the warning signs in the workplace? Um, we're gonna talk about also how to respond to an active threat. Uh, we're gonna cover things such as recognizing, reacting, evacuating, and barricading uh, during a threat. Some of the other important things we're gonna talk about is situational awareness, being aware of your surroundings. Um, also, we're gonna talk about uh, the mental state of the mind uh, with employees and visitors to your building. Some of the most important things they're going to take away from this workshop is they're going to have a, a blueprint, um, so to speak, a plan of action when they get back that they can share with their employees. We're going to talk about policy writing and uh, give them a sample of a policy that they can, if they don't have one in place, they can use this as an outline to turn it into a working policy for their business or their employees to follow if a workplace violence incident does occur. The reason you should attend a, a workshop on active threat and workplace violence is that if you're not prepared, your employees will be looking to you for leadership. And if you have no plan in place, it's going to be a tragic day in your business. So it's better to have some preparedness and prevention techniques in place than it is to leave your employees wondering what to do if something terrible happens at your workplace.